In December of last year, I made a video called Why is Africa so poor? Why are racists so stupid? In the video, I read out some amazingly stupid comments by some amazingly ignorant racists. Now, the video didn't get much attention initially, but after a while, quite a few people started showing up and leaving comments. It's had over a thousand views now, and it's been thumbed down quite a fair bit. Now, to be fair, I think more than a few people who've watched the video have missed the point of it. The point being, racists can be really ignorant, just look at some of the things they say. But... Then I get some people who come onto the video and I know they don't care about whatever point I was trying to make. They've just come to share their wisdom with me and the rest of YouTube. Let me read you some of the comments I've received on this video anyway. Okay. Quote. You know what's interesting? The post-colonial nations of Africa actually have higher standards of living, like South Africa. Existing infrastructure, roads, science, medicine. More obviously, the introduction of such things as the wheel. The claim that Africans live in a perplexed state of violence, savagery, tribalism, due to white colonialism, is so absurd. What about areas of the USA like East St. Louis, Detroit? Is it just a massive coincidence? End quote. Is what just a massive coincidence? What? The stuff this user's talking about, white colonialism and such, Nothing to do with my video. Nothing to do with it. Okay, another one. Quote, European colonialism, question mark. You stupid British cockroach. The Arabs took slaves in Africa before England was even established. That comment has ten thumbs up, by the way. Some user left some quotes from a medieval Arab writer called al Mukadasi. Apparently, he said, As for the Zanji, they are people of black colour, flat noses, kinky hair, and little understanding or intelligence. Like the crow among mankind are the Zanji. For they are the worst of men and the most vicious of creatures in character and temperament. End quote. Here's a good one. Quote, Why are the portions of Africa that were most heavily colonised, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, South Africa, the wealthiest and best off today? Why are the portions that were never colonised, Liberia, Ethiopia, among the worst off. Colonialism was the greatest humanitarian effort put forth in world history. Let me just repeat that again. Colonialism was the greatest humanitarian effort put forth in world history. Not that I think it was a good thing, mind you. The ungrateful black Africans didn't deserve the goodness of white civilization in the first place. End quote. One user in the comments section, while arguing with another user, says, 
Africa is a bad place due to the inferior race that inhabits it, not due to any environmental factors. Really? Another user says, Go and live with them, and then tell me how you feel, stupid kid. I think he means me when he says stupid kid. He goes on to say, They will cook you and eat you for dinner. He must mean black people. The person who made this next comment got 19 thumbs up, would you believe? Quote, Africa is still in the Stone Age. I don't understand how evil racist Whitey made the Africans cannibals, uncivilized, monstrous. They were always like that. The Whites' only mistake was to give them technology. End quote. As I read comments like these, I wonder what goes on in people's heads. I think some of these commenters might be white supremacists. Just a suspicion. It's difficult for me to empathise. It's difficult for me to put myself in the shoes of someone who believes in the superiority of their race, their people. I can't relate to the hatred some YouTubers have for black people. I can't make the emotional connection with the haters. A lot of these haters, these supremacists, must be quite miserable people, I imagine. For some, they need someone or some group to look down on all the time. Has to be something to do with an inferiority complex, right? Fear and ignorance always seem to be present wherever racism exists. This cannot be ignored. Jewish people and black people have been popular targets throughout history. Almost every time I hear someone talking about how dirty and underhanded Jews are, or how unintelligent and uncivilised black people are, the us versus them mentality, the we are better than the dirty outsider mentality, is clear for me to see. Perhaps not so easy to see are the self-esteem issues and maybe deep-seated guilt and anger also. Perhaps a lot of racists are people who are emotionally hurting and having someone to feel superior to gives them some relief. It lessens their suffering somehow.